Hey everyone, how's it going today? As you can see, my WRX. I have nothing real special, just regular seats. These are from 2017, so they're not even the leather ones, it's just a cloth. So what I'm gonna do is actually change the look of this whole interior. It's gonna be a huge difference. And let's get started on this. So to deal with these kind of bad looking seats, custom interiors here we go so they reached out to me and were able to send me some seats let's take a look at what we got here so with the seats it all comes in one bag itself and you get your passenger front as well as your driver and then as well as as well as the rear and all of the headrests now it looks like the fronts have some red stitching on them and the backs are just kind of a black and you can see you have the middle one as well so they definitely don't cheap out on this and i mean just look at that material here so it's some nice quality uh leather look to it let's take a look at the bottom of one of these seats here wow that's a huge upgrade so just look at this here okay look at that man i can't wait to get these on now i am going to show you step by step how you do it and wanted to just say thanks again to custom interior for providing me with these seats here for y'all to see they're an amazing brand that just by feeling this i can tell that they're going to be very very solid it's going to have a custom look to the car and really just change the look now what they focus on is making sure that you're not just buying a type of seat cover this is literally like if you can sew this into the seat which i may even look to see about doing these are a direct replacement i mean it's going to keep your seat clean but also just give you that look to really stand out from everyone else so i don't want to take any more time let's get to it now let's take a second to get more familiar with the seats you do have your back pouch area here the zipper on the side which we can undo since we're putting it on but as you flip it over you can see you have your two spots for your headrest at the top and then at the bottom you have kind of these little discs now what these discs do is you just fit them in between the two cushions so basically slide in and twist that way it holds the base of the seat in so let's move on to the bottom here as you can see man i can't wait to get these all installed but again nice quality nothing really stands out on the top but underneath you have a strap it goes underneath the seat you have these tabs as well and just tuck in between the two the top and bottom as well as you have some hooks that go underneath that attach so let's get to it so in getting into these seats the first thing that you're going to want to do is pull your lever push down on the back that way you can get to your headrest now on your headrest you have a little tab on the side that you can squeeze it slides up just like so a little bit more difficult to do one handed and you see i did hit the top here so i have to pull it back a little more boom there we go top headrest out now again before i put this up on the top here i wanted to point out that you do have the zipper on the back that needs to be fully opened as well as you do have a driver and passenger side so the zipper itself will go away so basically on the interior side of it and all you do is literally just shimmy the seat on over your original here so that's what i'm going to work on now all right so in doing this i'm actually going to start from the back here flip the cover up basically all you do is just work slide it along the sides now you want to take your time to make sure that you get everything right here and i'll probably do a couple more adjustments once it's fully fully seated on here but there we go now the only other thing i have to do right now is reach across to the back over here make sure that everything's tucked in good and what i'm doing is actually just closing the zipper so there we go like i said we got the bottom pieces what I'm gonna do 
again just make sure that everything's tight and you slide these down at the bottom here uh, it takes a little bit of effort there we go one done and get the other two so there's two down let's do the third here So finally finished up the third. Now, I do see it sticks out a little bit on here, but whenever I move up the seat, you're gonna see the difference that it makes. Now for the top area here, what you simply have to do is push all along one side. That way you can get one side secure. I'll go ahead and work it a little bit just to show you here. So this is what I was talking about. You get one side secure, and then you simply try to do it on camera here. You simply push. There we go. It pops right up. So basically, repeat on the other side. And we're pretty much finished up with the top. Wow, so there we go. We're looking pretty good so far. I'll show you tucking in the back once we do the headrest. That's exactly what I'm getting to now. So pretty much there's not much to it here. You do have a Velcro strap on the bottom. So once you're done actually placing this headrest cover over, you'll Velcro it underneath. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So we got the seat headrest done. Super simple. It's like basically just putting a pillow in, but it is really tight form fitting and I know over time as we use it it's going to get a little bit looser where we may need to adjust the bottom here but for now pretty pleased with it I love the stitching on it so let's go ahead and throw it in on top wow and you can already see what a huge difference this makes here I went ahead and yeah I had done the other side just to figure out everything here but wow look at that pattern too man yeah let's get the bottom on here in a minute but first before we move on to that I did want to touch here and get a good light for you underneath as you can see we have two hooks so one here then one here so basically this is just a flat it goes underneath like this and you just connect the hooks underneath the seat now you do have a bar up near the front where these hooks work really well. You just kind of have to feel around underneath to get it done. All right, well, let's move on to the bottom now. As you can see, again, you got your tabs, your buckle that goes underneath. Make sure you unbuckle that first. That way you can put it around the seat. And then your two hooks on there. So simply set it on here, get it formed. And wow, we'll take a look here in just a minute. And just look how impressive that is here. Now with the hooks on the bottom, I did realize that once you actually connect underneath, you can connect the hooks in the front as well as the ones in the rear to that actual strap itself. It makes it a little bit easier, but wow, just look at how nice that is here. So, yeah, definitely do not cheap out whenever you're going with these covers. Uh, make sure you get them from Custom Interior. And, wow, can't wait to start on the back now. So, front done. Let's move on to the rear. Now, I'm looking at the rear. One thing that you have to do is actually pull some tabs. One right here, one on the other side. And all of this will pop out. Now to show you exactly those tabs that I was talking about, this is them here. So basically you pull towards the front of the vehicle on both of them. You don't pull up, you don't pull down, pull out like this. So once you have this basically taken off, go ahead and set it up here on my table and we'll get the new seat covers applied to it. Now let's work on the rear bottom here. 
not much different than the top. Simply lay it across and underneath, let's take a look at all that we have. Now you do have, oh, you do have two straps like you did before. You have one right here as well, one right here. Actually a third too, one right here. So that's pretty nice. You have all of your tucks and you have your cross strap here. So whenever you apply this, simply loop your strap up under, right, like so. Then from here, simply attach it up top. Let's take a look up here and then up top. We're gonna get this applied and take a look at it. Again, just this quality is so good. Let me flip it over and kind of show you what I did here. Now there's four straps total. So you have one here and move this kind of out of the way. That way it connects properly as well as this metal down here. So there we go. You got one here, one here. Same on this side. You just kind of move it out of the way and get it all secured properly. And the only thing after that is simply just setting them back down. So here we go. And it looks pretty nice. And I mean, you can just see the detail that they put into it is that it's not cut off odd or weird or anything that everything just flows really well. The only other thing I have to do now is with these black tabs, just simply tuck them in. That way I can secure the back. So in finishing out the rear, you just want to take off the three headrests and what you'll do is grab the side kind of pull it down that way you can fold everything down and it's two parts the 60 40 split so we'll work on this side and then work on the other it has a zipper in between that will connect them before I move on I just want to show you again that you have the rear headrest covers both have the velcro strap underneath so pretty much all it is is just putting them on top and putting the velcro on underneath and take care of all three now so I now have all of the tops on here it looks really good on the headrest and they are pretty difficult to actually get on but once they're on you can see it forms really really well so that's just another part of custom interior is that they don't cheap out by just making the products simply kind of fit on over these actually form to the headrest itself so now that we're done with this let's get on to the rear seat uppers all right so let's work on the rear as you can see you have your holes on the top the way they align with what you have for your headrests as well as the clips on the bottom then you have some velcro as well so what we're going to do is kind of fold down these seats here and get this section lined up i think what will be best is to actually put everything through the top first so i'm going to work on that now And again, all you have to do is just use some pressure and push along. Everything goes in pretty easy for the most part here. And go ahead and get the center ones. Not too bad. Like I said too, you want to work one side first before moving to the other look already done so let's go ahead and pull this down i have to come over and get this other one as well so here we go fold it down here we'll get our velcro attached here at the top and we'll get our velcro attached here on the side That looks pretty good. The only other thing I have to do now is take these clips, basically force them into the seat here. After doing one or two, it's actually a fairly easy job. 
once you get the hang of what you're actually trying to do. We'll do the last one here. And, and there we go. Now this does have a zipper, the 60-40 split. It actually came with this side zippered, but once I install the other side, I'll be able to zipper it on this side as well. That way in the future, if uh, I have to move anything, all you have to do is literally just pull up on the zipper and the seat will come down itself. So let's work on the other side. So in working on the other side, again, all I have to do is kind of pull this top down the other side was already undone. And I'll go ahead and grab my seat here. And again, as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. Basically, just push everything around till it fits in well. So there's one. We're going to two here. Two. And three. All right, get the seatbelt pulled up here. That way it doesn't get tied in. And again, just Velcro on the back. Simple as that. So, oh, I forgot to get my Velcro on the side here. Man, now all I have to do is take my zipper, zipper this up, and we're done. Now I got everything secured and kind of adjusted, as well as there was, I think, two other Velcro straps on the top that I was able just to get put in, as well as my headrest here. Wow, looks pretty good. I'm gonna pull the car out to the light, and let's get some shots of this thing. So if you want some seat covers that are going to be unparalleled against any other, definitely go with Custom Interior. Thank you all for making this happen. If you all have any questions, feel free to message me on Instagram at WRX underscore snowboarder or send them a direct message from their web website. But I can't be more happy with the way that these turned out. It's totally changed the look of my WRX and I'm definitely looking forward to showing these off whenever I pull up at some of the car shows but really their quality is gonna be unmatched against anything else. And as always, happy driving and enjoy.